You want to pitch your startup to an investor or a potential partner, so you write a perfect story and you write the perfect deck and then you design the Microsoft PowerPoint. Perfect at this stage, right? There's only one problem. It's kind of super ugly. So you had to fire and look for a designer who could redesign this whole deck and they give you a budget of $1,000, which is not within your budget. So you're back at stage zero. I created this guide to help you design such a presentation. I've worked with designers, purchased templates, and designed myself. So I'll tell you what options do you have and then we're gonna design a presentation together or a pitch deck that we are gonna write with Google Bard. All right, so you have a lot of options. You can edit with Figma, for example. It's a very good design software that you can use. The thing is, it has unlimited design capabilities. But also, you don't really need unlimited design capabilities when designing a business presentation. So we're not going to use that one. Canva is also a good option. It has a lot of templates that you can use, but I kind of feel like it doesn't have unlimited design freedom per se. Also, you probably have to pay for it to get the full privileges. So we're going to skip that one. Pitch is another option very similar to Canva, but it's focused on pitch decks, which is a good thing. But I also feel that similar to Canva, it has a little bit of a limited design freedom and you have to probably pay to get the full functionality of the software. So we're also gonna skip that one. Finally, there is Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint, which are very close in terms of functionality. This is the area that I like to design in because I feel that it's limitless in terms of design. What you need to do is think from a minimalist perspective and remember that you can design anything. Once you have this thought in mind, let's start designing a pitch deck with Google Slides. The first thing you should do is actually create a storyboard. This is an example of a storyboard that I created for a client a while back. And how you generally start is you have to think from the perspective of your reader. In this case, it was a pitch deck, so it was for an investor. So I called it investor mentality. Is it dangerous market to invest in? That's the first thing they're going to think of. So it's the first question to address because it's in the metaverse or in the crypto market. The first thing an investor would pop, especially when we were creating this. So the first thing is, is it really a dangerous market to invest in? So that's the first thing that the investor talked. When you think about that, you have to put it down in some sort of a box. This is my storyboard. You can replicate to create yours. And then phase one, which is introduce me to what Exotwin does. Given that you convinced me already after phase zero that that it's not a dangerous market to invest in. And then after you can introduce me to what the company does, you start, okay, the product is good, the market is good, how will you get into it? What, what are you doing exactly in particular? And then finally, how can I be a part of this? So this is like an average thought of, of, of how the investors would approach this company in particular, it's called Exotwin. But yours is going to be different because you work in a different industry, you operate in a different industry, you have different mentality as well. You might be approaching a different investor. So you need to create supposedly uh, and and storyboard like this, but for your company and then put the response and reasoning. And then how will you spread this? I spread these over slides afterwards. So this is before you start writing the deck, this is how you should start. But then. What we're going to do right now is start writing the deck with Google Bard. I've tried it before with ChatGPT many times, but now we're going to give Bard a shot. I'm comparing this with what I did already with ChatGPT. So I created already a company called Cognit AI that is an artificial intelligence company. It's a fictional company, but I created it with ChatGPT and then created a, a pitch deck structure out of it and then created an actual road pitch deck with ChatGPT and then designed it. So we're gonna use the same thing with Bard. You just have to say, so this was for me, write me a pitch deck for a company called Cognitive AI that is an artificial intelligence company, make it a short structure. Additionally, you could say, make it following the Guy Kawasaki structure or the 500 global structure, and it should accordingly work on it. It has market research as well, because it's Bard and also ChatGPT had the same thing, which was something they're trained on. And you just have to work on, on talking to Bard numerous times in order to get it straight. So I want, for example, adding a section, add a business, add a business model section, just to make sure there is no business model. And I just write this and then Google Bard would supposedly add me a business model section. And I usually, I mean, yeah, business model, revenue model, customers, that's a lot. I'll just take the business model. I usually 
always pitch my own structure in advance. So I look at the structures online of people like Geico, Sock and 500 Global, and then I would choose, okay, this is the structure that I want. I would take the slides, copy paste their titles. So first thing is the elevator pitch and then the problem and the solution. And then I ask Google Bard or ChatGPT, write me a pitch deck for a company called Cognate AI with this structure. And then I state the structure. And that's how I come up with such, uh, such a deck. Of course, it's gonna require modification, but overall we have something to start with. Now let's get to designing. All right, so in case you're not very familiar with Google Slides, it's very simple. It's very similar and it's very similar to PowerPoint as well. Remember to be simple as much as possible. So how I started, I already designed Cognitive AI and I'll show you how it looks like, the pitch deck, and how we're gonna design it again or slowly what elements it includes uh, so that you would get the feeling of it. So we created this, this logo per se, which is just a placeholder logo. And this is a rectangle. You can easily create a rectangle uh, with rounded edges. It's always a lot, a lot cooler to create an, uh, I mean, it's, it's more simple to create that. And I never like the, the frame, so you can always remove it from here. This, this one looks good. You could also add in, in, uh, in Google Slides a drop shadow to make it feel more, uh, more, to give it more energy per se, but decrease the opacity so that it would be like this. This is good. And then you can choose the color. I already chose the brand guidelines, which is something you should work on your company at the beginning. You have to have a logo and brand guidelines. And for that, you have to use the fonts accordingly. And that's why Google Slides might not be the perfect option if your font is not really there. So this font is already there. We chose one from here, but if you don't have the font in Google Slides, you can check more fonts and search for your font here. But if it isn't there, you're gonna to have to use Microsoft PowerPoint or get some sort of extension that installs fonts. So we start off with the logo and the elevator pitch, creating cutting edge AI software solutions for business across a wide range of industry and just the title and the date. Text boxes, very simple, no complications. A background that is not white, it could be white, but I just want it to be simpler on the eyes. So it's a little bit a little bit of a different shade and that's how i want to start no complications i just care about them to remember the color of the logo and what it is ai cutting edge ai software second slide is the world of ai this is a very normal title per se you just add a text box and you put the logo on the right side as well as the page numbers by just inserting them from here and then i started off with uh with a sorry with a with a coat this is following the uh, following one of the pitch decks of spacex i believe because it, they started with an elon musk quotation so i'm doing similarly uh, a quotation from someone who's a researcher and entrepreneur this was generated by chat gpt i'm sure google bard can can generate accordingly and then uh, the text is quite normal it's uh, i believe it's uh, it's just justified so that it will look like this of course, I'll add a link to this deck for you in case you want to download it and use it. And then bolding the text a little bit and putting just a line with a bullet point at the end. And this line has to be simple, so we just make it bulleted and just with a big circle at the end of it or the opposite way. So this gives the clean vibe, the professional vibe and the calm vibe that you want to give an investor. Then you start showing more. Again, this is rectangle and lines. As long as you know how to do rectangles on Google Slides and lines, that's all that's needed for this particular deck. And it's just a game of colors here. We just play a little bit of a black, a little bit of this color, which is a little bit of white and a little bit of the yellow. So these are the options that we have and just play with your creativity and just you know, design with a freedom of thought. Don't think like this is not too good, this is not too bad, this is too small, this is too big. Don't complicate the matters and make it just clean. And then you start a product powering. The problem with this slide, honestly, is that it's too much text, definitely for a pitch deck. So I would decrease it a lot, but if you do have a big product, then I would do it the same. Again, this is just a circle of under the line which is you just have to click command or control and uh, like this was here and you just have to take this uh, circle and command uh, down so that it will go at the bottom. 
once you get used to Google Slide, it's quite easy to use and it's very easy to generate a lot of pitch decks as much as you want. Deep learning, I thought of developing this sort of graph, which is just a group of circles, different types of lines in their, uh, in their, uh, in their border, because there are different lines here. So we just created that and then focus on deep learning. This is not something downloaded. You could get in trouble. I wouldn't say get in trouble. You could, of course, put, uh, put icons if you wish. I even have an extension here that just adds icons immediately and you can just put whatever icons you want. It's just that sometimes some icons require um, require attribution and are not okay to be published published publicly. But if you're sending it to an investor that you know, I don't think that would be a problem. Or you can also attribute it the, at the bottom of each slide, which is not that big of a deal. And then the team uh, also following the same thing. So now we had the design concept based on lines and circles and with the colors. So this is how it looks like. I didn't put people because it's an imaginary company. And uh, this slide, same, more of the same thing, just a clean, clean uh, font with the same font every, everywhere is the same font and the same type of soft title. So I am underlining the most important word in the title. And I usually don't put the title as a long, as a, as a typical solution problem. I would like to say more about it. So viable business model and the subscription model. So I would put a circle and put another circle here with a transparent background. And then I would show a little bit of revenue. Now these are, and this is not a chart, this, uh, because a common thing you would do when designing is put a chart, an actual chart. And from this chart, you have to get information from Google Sheets, which is okay if you have a complex numbers, but if not, then just design it accordingly, you know, like this is mainly for design. So you would show that you're growing and that the 50 million at 2025 is what's projected. And, uh, and then we close with again, the simple logo and contact us. Now, in case you don't know how to use Google slides, you just have to practice more into it with different themes and just try to, to explore it. I've worked with it for over seven years. So I know every and almost everything that has to do with, uh, with the functionality of it, PowerPoint as well. So you just have to practice and, uh, and remember one thing, this is the one thing that will make you excel in designing simple pitch decks or in, in designing clean pitch decks with Google Slide is that there is nothing that can't be done. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't make an icon of a person, just do it, draw a circle, look at an icon of a person, how does it look like and just draw it. So it's a circle, a circle and another circle. These are three circles. So just draw a big circle with a white background and then draw another circle. And this is a third circle just with a big, uh, with a big border that is white. Very simple, bam, we're done. We could just actually create it right now to just prove a point because why not? So here's a circle and then we have another one which looks like this per se. And then a final one, which looks like this. And then what you have to do simply is this doesn't actually matter. So you just make it transparent and white if you want. So it's not really useful. This one is the one that matters in this icon. It's black with a border of white. So let's make a border of white and make it very large and then make the thing itself black. And then this is black with no border. You just lift it up a little bit and maybe decrease the size of this to make it like this. I mean, a little bit like this. But that's it. You got yourself. I would also put it a little bit to the bottom and maybe prop it eventually or cut it, cut this part, which is also quite easy to do. And there you go. You all, you got yourself a person or an icon of a person. And, and that's just by looking and thinking in a minimalist sort of perspective. So always keep that in mind and you'll be able to create any sort of decks that you want. And, uh, and then you could be easily pitching something simple and clean and delivering the vision that you already have.